Hello everybody, welcome Soul Family, welcome back or welcome in general. Thank you so much for being here, I really deeply appreciate all of you. Just so you know, my disclaimers are in the description box along with all of the decks that I own, tarot and oracle, if you are interested in any of the decks that I use. Um, a link to my social media is also down below if you're interested in private readings or getting to know me a little bit more. Thank you so much for being here again. Today we will be using the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. And if you are interested, I have been wanting to start posting reviews on all of the decks that I own, Tarot and Oracle. So if you see the description box, you'll know that I have quite a few decks. Um, so I'm really excited and can't wait to bring that content to you guys if you're interested. Um, but regardless, I do plan on bringing that out for you guys in the future. Now, I would like to do a little singing bowl exercise again. With every hit, we'll breathe in together and we'll breathe out and let's see how it goes. When I start singing the bowl, making the bowl sing, I want us to imagine and feel all of the negativity, all of the pain, all of the distress, the anxiety releasing from our bodies and bringing in positivity and literally a breath of fresh air. Now let's begin. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in positivity, breath of fresh air, new beginnings. And breathe out anxiety, fear, and doubt. Breathe in clarity, peace, and love. Bring out Breathe out the anger, resentment, and fear. Breathe in and breathe out. just decided to do a little bit of that with you guys again. If you enjoy that, or if you don't, let me know. I am trying to get better at that. <laughs> but anyway, here for the reading. So, stop messing around. Let's get into it, shall we? I know that everyone has been going through a lot to say the least with all this you know virus going on and people losing their jobs and people losing people that they know and love it really has been a struggle for us all a struggle for us to really stay centered in in 
ourselves to remain stable, to remain really independent. It has been a stressful time for everyone alike. You know, people not hanging out with people that they know and love, or friends, or you know, people losing jobs. The year is coming to an end, and with every end is a new beginning. So let's make this year what we want it to be. Let us step into our own personal power. Let us step into our dreams and aspirations. With every year, with every month, with every week, with every day is a new beginning. Give us, help us have the courage and the passion, the drive, the motivation to pursue the things in our lives that, that matter the most to us. Our purpose, our heart's true calling. May this year that is coming up be filled with prosperity, love, abundance, truth, discovery, adventure. Even if we are in our rooms, home alone, help us know that we are not alone. Help us see the opportunity at every new beginning. Opportunities coming in. Definitely <laughs> new beginnings. Sorry, the shuffling takes a while, but I'd rather you guys see me shuffle. Let's see what we have here. I was just talking about, just mentioning and hoping for new beginnings for all of us in the new year that is to come. This is not a prediction reading, but let's see what comes out. There is a desire to move forward with new beginnings, with fresh ideas, to follow and pursue your creative endeavors, to pursue the things that bring you passion, that fill your heart with fire, a desire or a need to step into your authenticity and to speak your truth, like the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords speaks her truth. And sometimes she may seem blunt but she's only trying to be just in letting people know and letting herself know the truth of the matter by expressing how she feels. With her crown, her crown has butterflies. There's a desire to communicate 
there's a lot of communication energy here with the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Wands moving forward. A desire to communicate a passionate new beginning, a desire to start a new creative project. And again, this is a new beginning. This is something that I feel you really want within the new year. To move away from disappointments and to really pursue what it is that, that you desire. To really pursue what it is that, that you are passionate about and what brings you happiness here with the sun in, in the background. But it is important to, to go within and to work on the things, the blockages, or, you know, the things that we tell ourselves about us not being able to pursue what it is that we want. It's important to stop making excuses for ourselves. And that's not to say that, you know, that your situation isn't difficult but it is to say that it is important for all of us to to really hone in on what is it that we desire in order for us to learn how to spend our time more wisely in doing the things and pursuing the things that really bring us fulfillment the things that that bring passion and fire into our soul into our being This is also to me saying that it is important, it is a time to step out of your comfort zone. It is a time to communicate. It is a time to move forward. It is a time to be honest with yourself and people around you about your, your truth, your desires, your passions, your creative projects, perhaps. Here with the Hierophant, I see that perhaps this may be something that you feel spiritually led to, because wands also signify spirituality, passion, creativity, motivation, sexuality as well. The Hierophant is about, it could be perspectives. It could be upbringing, it could be um, organized religion or organized uh, perspectives that have been passed down to you, perhaps. And I'm seeing there's, there may be a need to revisit certain things that you have been told or um, brought, raised up to believe. To take a, a leap of faith in pursuing what it is that you desire, even if it is something that you feel, um, people will not be open to. In the end, what other people think doesn't matter. In the end, what we think and what we want and the way that we do it is what matters. People who support us will stand behind us. And people who don't, sometimes they just need a new perspective and they are supportive. Just because someone might not be so supportive in the beginning does not mean that they will not come around. I'm also seeing that here. It is important to follow your your passions and to follow the things that make you happy with the full card here sorry it's all glared out there's a need to to release the burden of of 
giving a fuck about what other people think or how other people see you. It doesn't mean to be a douchebag, you know what I mean? It just means to be honest, to be real. And, you know, I believe very strongly, do as I will, harm none, but take no shit. And so, with that being said, when you are in your truth, and when you pursue your dreams, and you express yourself truthfully, honestly, and you follow your heart, and you follow the guidance that you feel in your intuition, it will not lead you astray. Now, there may be people who are opposed to, to uh, your creative pursuits, but this is a call to, to release and to move away from, if I can get it, <laughs> to release and move away from, from, again, giving a fuck about what other people perceive. Someone who really gets you, someone who really understands you, or who wants to, is going to take the time and effort to try to, even if it's something difficult for them to understand, um, you know, the people in our lives who really support us, even if it's something that they are not the most happy about, they will understand that as long as we are are true and in our own power and following our true passion then we are on the right path that is meant for us and again i'm seeing here there is a need to to release the fear and the burden of what other people want of you the eight of swords is about being in your own mental prison. She's bound, but she's not bound to where she cannot move. You see, her arm is loose. She can very easily just slip through that and remove the blindfold and then walk right through the swords without getting hurt. But she chooses to stay there. Consciously or not. So this is a need to, to release that energy, to, to wake up and realize the thought patterns and the things that we tell ourselves that really keep us from moving forward, like the Six of Swords. is about moving forward to calmer waters. It is about leaving behind situations that no longer serve you in order to find new beginnings, in order to, to follow a new path, in order to, to have an, a new opportunity available to you. Let me see. The next card underneath the deck is the Page of Wands. The Six of Wands, the Star card, and the Devil card in reverse. With the Page of Wands, I'm seeing again, there is a desire to move forward in a new creative pursuit or something that you are passionate about, something you feel led to, that spirit has made you feel called to do. There is a strong desire for a victory and for hope. It is important to have hope in order to be victorious. There's also a need to release more energy that is keeping you bound, like this Ten of Swords. He's literally pinned to the floor because of the swords stabbing through him. And what I'm seeing from this is 
is in addition to that, it's a, a need to release that energy because this kind of energy, um, the energy here with these three sword cards actually, now that I think about it, um, the eight of swords, the six of swords, and the ten of swords, these are very, the six of swords in reverse, these are cards that are really signifying a lot of stress, a lot of burden, a lot of stagnant energy. There's a desire to be victorious, but at the same time, there's, there's these blockages that need to be worked through. And we have six and six here. It is not po always possible for us to stay in the situation that we are currently in and have a victory. Sometimes you have to really actually leave a situation in order for you to have that victory. You have to be hopeful that the situation will change and you have to be hopeful and ready to follow a, a new beginning. The full card, I'm sorry, the glare. <laughs> to have that new beginning. Move away from stagnant, stale, um, deviled energy. In order for you to pursue what it is that you want to pursue you have to believe in yourself and you have to believe in your dreams because if you don't believe in yourself this is what you're doing to yourself if you don't believe in your dreams this is what you're doing as well and it's, it's not helping your situation and it's just, it keeps you stuck in this Ten of Swords energy that again, he's pinned down, he can't move because of the swords. In other tarot decks, there is the sun in the background. And it symbolizes that, you know, with every end is a new beginning. But we have to take that, that leap of faith and we have to trust in trust and hope in the situation in order for us to have victory we really do have to trust in hope because if we don't trust ourselves and we don't hope that our future our desires will come true again that is keeping ourselves bound and stuck in this negative sorts energy Telling ourselves that we are not able to, that we can't, making all of the excuses why we shouldn't. You know, sometimes you literally just have to jump in blindly into your dreams and really just do it. Like, for example, me doing these tarot readings, I'm still new when it comes to uh, giving tarot readings online. I'm still new when it comes to YouTube in general, you know what I mean? And um, it's something that I am choosing to, to have faith about. And that was my leap of faith was to post that first video that I posted. And honestly, I did feel within myself, like aspects of myself, like I'm not good enough or whatever, how will it be received? And in the end, none of that matters. What matters is that you put yourself out there and you stand, you stay true to who you are and you pursue what it is that your heart calls you to do. I also, there's also someone um, in my life who is actually in the same process of pursuing his dreams and, um, you know, 
we both feel that in pursuing what we are that you know things are going slow but that's a natural part of the process you know no one has you know no one's going to how can I say the whole world isn't going to know you in one day you know what I mean so there is a need to to remain hopeful and remain positive and to remain patient in pursuing your dreams and to just take that leap of faith and just go for it. If you want to be a tarot reader, if you want to be an artist, you want to be a dancer, you want to be whatever it is that you want to be, you deserve to be it if that's where your heart really leads you to be. But you have to be willing to remove the blindfold and remove the negative thought patterns that keep you stuck. Taking that leap of faith is really, this is the, the, the beginning. This is literally the, the first card in the Major Arcana is number zero, which is the full card. With every journey, it takes a leap of faith I'm going to put this higher so you won't get that glare. Every beginning of every journey requires a, a big amount of faith, hope, passion, honesty, perseverance, patience. But it is necessary to begin with that kind of energy. Not in a naive way, not to literally jump off the cliff, but in a way where you can, you can make plans and you can take actions based on what it is that you want to do and where it is you want to go in your life. It's much easier to navigate through an area you don't know if you have a map. If you have some kind of way of gauging how far you are or, you know, what's going on. I'm sorry, I really hope that I'm making sense. <laughs> if you have some creative projects that you have been wanting to do, I'm seeing this as saying, like, you should move forward and you should pursue that. You should take that leap of faith and believe in yourself. Remove the blindfold and stop telling yourself that you will not be victorious. Because, I mean, if that's the kind of energy that you have before going into anything, then you've already lost. Because you did not allow yourself to have a beginning. So it's like, here we have the 10 and we have the 0. We have one zero and we have just a zero. It's like you get to choose to quit before you ever even started or to move forward and to at least put yourself out there and at least try and at least give yourself the chance. But remember that with everything comes time. So everything requires patience, especially any creative pursuit or any pursuit of knowledge is going to take time, it's going to take research, it's going to take study and, and uh, working on your skills in order to, to accomplish what it is that you desire. See, we have truth. See your light, know your power, have the courage to walk your truth. That is exactly what I was saying here with the, the Queen of Swords. Speak your truth. Follow your passion. 
have the courage to be honest even if it goes against what other people around you um, think is right or wrong the thing about what is right and wrong is that it's mostly subjective anyway you need to follow your light you need to follow your guidance you need to follow your truth because your truth is your own my truth is my own this other person's truth is their own you know what I mean so no one can really govern your life unless you give them the power to do so but in doing that you are relinqu relinquishing the power within yourself because you're giving it away so what I'm seeing here is also a call for you to take back your power or to stand true in your power and in your truth. Amongst all of the darkness, there is light. It's up to you to follow that light that guides you, such as like your heart. It's up to you to follow that and to pursue it. To be honest with yourself and the people around you is the only way to take off the blindfold. It's the only way to really start to heal this Ten of Swords energy. To start to heal away from dogmatic perspectives or, you know, things that people have told us in the past or maybe our family telling us I want you to be this or you're gonna be this you're gonna be that and it's like no that's not what I want that's what you want you had your chance this is my chance this is my life this is what I want and I'm going to take that leap of faith I'm going to trust and believe in what my heart is guiding me to do ascension your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness you are ready for this and that's that's what I'm seeing is you need to take back your power and know that you are capable know that this is if this is what you want then you do deserve to to uh, pursue it and you will be victorious when you do what it is that you desire I saw 3223 I'm thinking five and five, which if you've watched any of my other videos, I see fives a lot. Fives are about change. And here I have a, a little Malachite pyramid. So I'm seeing there there is a need for there's a need for for change. A need for healing. Green is the color of the heart chakra. Malachite is something that also brings healing to our heart. Something that brings, I wanted to say courage. But Malachite brings change. Above all, I feel Malachite is a stone of change, a color of love. So what I'm seeing with this is it's important to make changes in your life that are aligned with your heart. In other words, make changes in your life that are aligned with your, with love, that are aligned with what it is that you love. Vision, hold your vision. Trust in your ability to create the vision in your soul. So this is what I'm seeing is to to follow that inner compass and to pursue it because you are a light being you are a being of of creativity you are a being that has a purpose but you make your purpose what is it that you want what is it that you desire what is it that feels you and and that you're passionate about extend yourself Extend your energy. Don't be fearful of how you will be received. Don't be fearful of, of what uh, friends and family and other people um, may think. You should 
release the burden, release the pain, release the, the ache from being held down, from being forced into beliefs and perspectives and career paths that you do not personally believe in or want to pursue or have any intention of anything with. You need to stand true with yourself. You need to be honest with yourself. And truth, we have truth there. Underneath, we have inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. I was watching a tarot reading yesterday, or the other day, and it was mentioning how the opposite of love is not hate. The opposite of love, which is the highest frequency of all, is fear which is the lowest frequency of all. And it is interesting because, I mean, if you analyze where our, our, uh, our negative thought patterns stem from, or where our lack of confidence stems from, or where our um, anger, resentment, any of that, where it stems from is fear. Fear of being misjudged, fear of not being loved, codependent, codependency is a fear of not being loved. Fear is the lowest frequency of all. Jealousy stems from a fear that you are not good enough. You see what I mean? Anger may stem from a fear of not getting your way or not having a just outcome. Fear really is at the, the stem of, of these energies, of these negative devil energies. Inner alchemy is about learning how to work with yourself, learning how to understand yourself. Alchemy is to take something and transform it into something else, just like chemistry, just like the magician. It is about ascending, it is about being honest with yourself, it is about seeing who you truly are and what it is that you truly desire in life. Doing the inner alchemy is to go within yourself and to transform those, those negative thought patterns into something constructive and positive to where instead of keeping yourself bound by these thoughts that you're not good enough, it is transforming that into thoughts of, I am good enough. And even if this takes a while, I'm going to pursue it. Doing the inner alchemy is important. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. So what that is saying to me is actually transcend your mind's limitations and allow your soul's light to truly shine. I was actually literally about to say that inner alchemy is about transforming, about transcending our limiting beliefs, about transcending our past pains, about transcending our mind's limitations. We need to reflect on the things in our life that are going on or that have happened See all aspects of yourself through the reflection of the one who mirrors your hidden self. But what I'm seeing with that is in order to do inner alchemy, you have to reflect upon your situation and upon yourself. Starseed. 
Raise the vibration of the planet through your radiant loving light. So perhaps you may be a star seed. I'm I'm seeing whatever it is that that you desire to pursue. Yes, it may take time, but for all you know, it could be something that could bring so many people happiness and clarity and hope and joy and understanding. You, you need to believe in your mission in life. And what is your mission? What is your purpose? What, is, what are your passions? What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to learn in this life? What, who is it that you want to be in this life? We need to be ourselves. But if there's something about ourselves, such as our mentality, the way that we view things, our perspectives that we don't like, it is our responsibility to reflect on that and to transform it, to move past that. So becoming who you want to be is not that you are not good enough. It is not that you will never get there. Becoming who you want to be is to be honest with yourself about the things in your life that that you keep telling yourself that really keep you blocked, that keep you away from what it is that you really desire. Earth Guide. Your sacred calling upon this earth is to simply love and be loved, it says. We mentioned here to react to fear with love. And what I'm, what I'm seeing here is like, yes, to follow your calling and to know that, that it will bring people clarity and, and love and it will help people. Because I mean, if you are a starseed and you are an earth guide, that says a lot within itself is that your mission, your purpose is important and you should pursue it. Pursue your dreams and your aspirations and don't let anyone or anything hold you back. Not even religious perspectives, not even social constructs. Do as I will, harm none, but take no shit. So really, when you are truthful, with who you are and you stand true to that and you're not hurting anyone else then isn't that you know what we all strive for isn't that what we all desire to not be chained by other people's perspectives and what they um, want of us like for example family that tells you no you're gonna do this career not that. You need to be honest with yourself and with the people around you about what it is that you truly desire. And you need to know that you are strong enough and that you do have the capability within you. You just have to transcend those negative thought patterns and you need to reflect upon them so you can transcend them. So you can do the inner alchemy that is needed for ascension in order to follow your vision. You have to be honest with yourself. Let me see. I like this card. Oh, two cards want to come up. The fiery climax approaches and show the world the real you. That's exactly what I was saying. You need to be honest with yourself and with the people around you and to know that if you're gonna put yourself out there, not to, not to care about what other people think, you just need to be the real you and pursue what it is that you desire and know that whenever you do that, when you pursue your dreams and you are authentic in your own power, a fiery climax will approach. 
Meaning, you will accomplish your dreams. You will have new beginnings and you will have, you know, you will be able to express your passion, the things that motivate you. And you will in turn also motivate other people when you're in that energy. Show the world the real you, I feel like, is really calling calling out like I feel like that is a big part of this reading is to be authentic to be the real you the ram and the aries i'm feeling like there may be some stubbornness perhaps there's the stubbornness to to reflect on who you really are or a stubbornness that perhaps you have reflected and you know who you really are but the stubbornness may be that you are afraid to to share that truth with people around you work through your fears this card has been coming out a lot we need to work through our fears in order to pursue our dreams in order to move forward in our life and the, the very beginning of this reading was to move forward and to, per, to be honest with yourself like the queen of of swords to be truthful and honest to yourself about your desires your hopes your dreams your passions and it is important to move through the fear of being hurt of being misunderstood of you know of keeping ourselves bound as if we're not good enough or um you know not being hopeful in a situation and not moving forward like the six of of swords Underneath the deck, we, we have your commitment is being tested. So what I'm seeing with that is saying that if this is something that you really want, you need to prove it to yourself. First and foremost, why do we need to prove it to ourselves that it's something that we really want? Because it means that when we start to show ourselves just how serious and committed we are to something, we are then able to, to really step into that power and for people to, to also experience that as well. Does that make sense? If your commitment is being tested, it is not to get you to, to stop doing what you love. It is to get you to to ask yourself, am I doing what I really love? Or am I just settling for something? You know, is this what I really want or not? Because when our commitment is being tested, it is a way of the universe saying, is this what you really want? You need to answer that within yourself. And your actions should be a reflection of that your actions should be a reflection of what you want in your life and if you're not reflecting what you want in your life through your actions then you are in this this energy and when we are in this energy we don't have energy <laughs> to pursue the things that we want so it's like you you choose are you really committed so much to this thing that you are willing to ascend to hold your vision and to ascend from 
from the pain that you cause yourself or that other people have caused for you. There's a, a, a need to really move away from that. Your commitment is being tested is not something to be fearful of. It's something to to be like, okay, now let me prove it. Nothing is yet set in stone. So what this is saying to me is like, not until you start taking action is it going to happen. So like we can be like, oh, my hopes and dreams, I wanna become a musician, an artist, or whatever the case is. But it's not until we practice that we are able to, to really prove to ourselves that we are committed to that thing. Like for example, if you're a musician, the way to prove to yourself that you're really committed is to practice. Because if you're not practicing, you're not committed. The energy is gaining momentum, is making me think back to this nothing is yet set in stone card. What I'm seeing here is because nothing is yet set in stone, I feel like this is a block, a blockage that you have, is this fear of like, well, if I don't know that it's going to be um, successful, then I'm not going to pursue it because I'm not sure, you know, maybe it's not really for me, um, maybe this, maybe that, that's this energy here. And what I'm saying, how it makes me think back to this card, the energy is gaining momentum and nothing is yet set in stone is because it's making me think how if you're in in this kind of energy that I just spoke about literally right now then that energy is also gaining momentum so whether you are positive or negative in your mind that energy is going to gain momentum whether you like it or not so because nothing is yet set in stone it's important not to view it with the perspective of being stuck in your head it's important to view it as an opportunity for, for hope and a new beginning. View it as an opportunity to prove to yourself that this is what you really want. In order to gain momentum in whatever it is that you want. Yeah, your, your dreams need a practical plan. If what you really, oh wow, bring love into a situation, that is literally, what card is it? What card? Literally, oh my god. <laughs> I'm a mess, you guys. Bring love. Oh, this card was just right there on the side. Stillness, reflect on this moment with love, kindness, and compassion. And that goes back to things that I say. Um, in my other readings as well. My last reading, You Are the Magician, is like there were aspects of needing to forgive in that message. I think this is the card that I was looking for. React to fear with love. Bring love into the situation. You see what I mean? Your dreams need a practical plan is saying it is time for you to, to understand that yes, even though nothing is yet set in stone, the energy that you give off and the energy that you put into this is gaining momentum or it's not. So either you're stuck and the momentum is getting nowhere because you're not doing anything about it or the momentum is gaining energy because you're starting to take a practical plan. You're starting to make these steps or take the steps necessary 
to pursue whatever it is that you want. And with a lot, again, with, with this energy of bring love into a situation, is really making me feel like it is important for you to really be still. Be still. To reflect, which was also a card that we got to reflect, reflect. To be still within yourself. And to know that you are capable of achieving absolutely anything that it is that you desire. But you need to go out there and you need to get it. You need to put yourself out there and you need to transform that energy into constructive energy. Energy of stability, of strength, of motivation and moving forward I think that today is going to be a shorter reading I did not mention that in the beginning of the video but let's see let's pull from maybe a couple more oracle decks I hope this message is resonating and if it is, please feel free to let me know any thoughts, concerns, perspectives that you may have. I feel like this one wants to come out. Empowerment, yes. You need to stand true. You need to to be in your your self-empowered state and I did mention that earlier as well so this is a confirmation that you know you have it within you you just need to believe it and you need to follow that happiness once you follow it once you make the changes necessary in your life and you follow your freedom your pursuit of happiness it, it's gonna bring more happiness, more abundance, more love. You know, we have to view things from a loving, kind, compassionate perspective in order for us to be happy. Don't expect to be in a uh, energy of happiness and empowerment if you're negative all the time, if you're angry all the time. Like, how can you go from, from angry to happy without doing anything to make the change, right? In order to, to transform that energy from negative to positive. We must transform it. So what does that mean? If we're in a negative mind state, it's important for us to focus instead of on the negatives, to focus on things that we're grateful for, to focus on the positives, to view things from a positive light. And that does not mean to be... Um, like uh, toxically overly positive toxic positivity they call it um, it's important to be real and honest with yourself but it's also important for you to transform to transcend like one of the cards we had earlier one of these to transcend use this one vision to hold your vision and to transcend it to move away from that pain financial health so maybe something that is keeping you from your vision is that you feel like there may not be a market for it or where you live or what you're going through it's hard to to see the monetary value in in what it is the thing about that is with any creative pursuit and again, some examples that are the easiest to throw out there are like musicians, artists, dancers, people who, who have a lot of creativity, people who have a lot of creativity within them. It is, it is difficult to, to really stabilize that idea, to really 
hold the vision and to create a practical plan to where we can gain uh, financial stability from our creative vision. However, it is not impossible. And I don't think that is something that should keep you from your happiness. I don't think that's something that should keep you from doing what it is that you feel called to do. It's not about the money. Like, yes, we need money to survive because we need food, we need water, we need shelter. You know, there are things that we need. But it's important to realize that if you do start taking the steps necessary to plan, to make a practical plan, to follow through with that plan, it is much easier to become an entrepreneur. It is much easier to start to, to put your creative ideas out there and for you to eventually, you know, if it's what you desire to even accrue um, some financial stability from it. Psychic abilities. With this, I feel like you know within yourself what it is that... Oh. I just saw one hour, one minute, and 11 seconds as soon as I looked up after I saw this truth card. I'll get back to this right now, but what I was saying here with the psychic abilities is that I feel like you know what it is that you want and you have ideas of how to make practical plans to move forward for what it is. Like you have the vision. You need to hold on to that vision and you need to believe in that vision in order to make it come true. Believe in yourself and that you have the abilities necessary that you have the abilities that you need and more. It's important to understand that, that things do take time, but it is very important to stay true to yourself and to follow your dreams. Truth, truth, it's about looking in the mirror. And look, what, what does this say? Reflect. Truth, reflect, reflection, right? We have a mirror. To follow your dreams, the things that, that, that make you happy, that make you feel empowered. To reflect on the things that make you happy, that make you feel empowered. To know that those are the things that bring you strength. look and we have more energy of reflection more energy of looking in the mirror know that you are enough with this card I'm getting that feeling of of not believing in yourself of feeling like not being good enough but the truth is you need to reflect on why is it that you feel that way was it someone who told you you're not good enough is it just these these thought patterns that you're just you're killing yourself Reflect on that and understand that when you're when you're true to yourself You'll know that those are just lies that we tell ourselves because we don't feel good enough. That is fear Remember how earlier I mentioned um, a reading that I was watching that said that fear um, Is the lowest frequency and really that fear is the state of uh, the the core at the core of a lot of issues that people face greed is the fear of not having enough money jealousy the fear of not being pretty enough or sexy enough not being enough for someone so there's a need to to go within and reflect truly to reflect upon upon your truth How committed are you to your dreams? Know that, that when you start to plant the seeds of your dreams and you start to pursue that, you will, you will get something out of it.
you will get something out of it once you you plant those seeds and you have to get out of your head in order to start doing so in order to really again prove to yourself first and foremost above all else be honest with yourself and prove it to yourself I'm feeling called to this deck. I don't use this one as often anymore. <laughs> Let's see what comes out. I think this year has definitely been a year where a lot of people need to reflect upon who they are and what they want in their life and i think that's why a lot of a lot of things have been falling on the wayside because not only have we been forced to stay indoors or you know whatever the case is but also because we are forced then to reflect reflect in within ourselves you know what is it that we truly desire in life and to to go go through with that so i'm seeing younger man dealings or relationship with a younger man so perhaps you are a younger man perhaps you're dealing with a younger man that could be relevant or perhaps there is a younger man around you who who may be able to to help you in your journey. Perhaps someone that you would not expect to learn something from, but I I was going to say and then I was looking at the cards to see if if the message was there and actually it is. I feel like there is a person around you who may perhaps be a younger man who has good advice, who may be a wise person, who you may not expect this person to be a wise person because they're younger. But let me tell you, age does not mean wise. Age just means have been here longer. There are some people who are older who honestly act who are less wise than children there are older people who don't have good advice just because someone has lived longer does not mean that they have lived in their truth does not mean that they have lived in a way where they transcend their their own uh, issues so you know, if you're trying to get help from someone who is like that, there's going to be misunderstandings because maybe they're going to be giving you advice that is not true to how you feel. So I think the best advice to give, you know, or perhaps the misunderstanding could be with a younger man. Perhaps it could be a younger man who's misunderstanding you. Um, I just got the thought in my head that perhaps you have a son in your life. Maybe you're a single parent and you have a son who, who's kind of like doesn't fully see your vision. I don't know why I'm getting that. But perhaps there's someone in your life who, again, who doesn't see the vision that you have for yourself. But know that you will have triumph over the obstacles and regardless of who this younger man is, if it is relevant to you, regardless of the misunderstandings and the advice, know that you will triumph over your troubles, that you will be victorious. But again, um, this is making me think of the Six of Swords but it did come out in the reading in reverse. So 
what I'm seeing here is again, it is a need to move forward and to transcend from from pain, to transcend from you know the people, places, things in our life that don't believe in us. And that doesn't mean that we cannot talk to them. It doesn't mean that we can't be their friend. It just means we have to know um, what advice is good advice. And how do you know what advice is good advice? You'll feel it. You feel it in your heart because it will ring true to you. It will feel right. That is how you know good advice is good advice because it feels right. If you feel like some advice someone gave you feels wrong, then you should follow your intuition and, and you know, discern, learn to discern between um, advice that is um, constructive and good and helpful versus advice um, that comes from a state of fear right oh well I don't think you'll earn enough money in that career or I don't think you'll ever be famous enough to do that or I don't think that blah 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 bullshit I think it's important for you to know true true good advice will resonate within you an advice that you don't feel is right is not going to feel that way. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. So the sun here in the back is making me think back to the Ten of Swords when there is a sun in the background. This is under deck. Um, when there is the sun in the background we did also have a card of strength, didn't we? There's a need to go within because deep personal strength and peace comes from within. It comes from understanding who we truly are. It comes from understanding what brings us peace, what brings us strength, what helps us strengthen our bonds and our desires and and pursue that broken bridge unsuccessful outcome to a problem what I'm seeing this as is sometimes you have to burn some bridges sometimes you have to step away from people places and things that just it's like misunderstanding after misunderstanding after misunderstanding. But are the misunderstandings coming from you lying? You um, lying to yourself or to someone else? Because we need to also understand that sometimes when we're not very honest or truthful about how we really truly feel, it only makes sense that someone's going to misunderstand us because we're not giving them the truth, the full truth. Not being completely honest with someone, you can't get mad at them for misunderstanding you. Marriage and March. What I'm seeing here is possibly there is a situation um, that may arise within March that is going to maybe, how can I say, maybe when you are starting to express yourself and starting to really pursue your, your dreams, start now. And perhaps by March, you're going to see some fruits of your labor. Granted, that may not be like a super massive, you know, um, accomplishment within less than a year, you know what I mean? But it is something, it is a marker to, to hold, I don't know why I'm thinking reverence. Um, it is a marker to, to be mindful of, that any marker we should be proud of. Like, for example, um... If you are starting to 
share your your art and your music and share more about your passions and your your dancing and your whatever the case is the more people will start to come across you more people will start to understand you better the more that you allow people to understand you better and i think perhaps by march people are going to have a better understanding of who you are if you are standing true standing within your own power standing true within yourself that again perhaps something may happen in march or perhaps there's a marriage now this card or marriage does not have to literally mean marriage it does not have to literally mean uh, something between another person it could literally mean you know with your passion and i'm not really getting love vibes very much here even though the marriage card came out like i, I didn't really get that feeling throughout the reading so I feel like this is more in regards to your career. I feel like the marriage is more the most in regards to marrying yourself. Marrying yourself in a sense. I mean, that doesn't mean literally I'm going to marry myself, but to learn to have some self-love is very crucial. It is very important. And when we marry ourselves, we're honest with ourselves. We have reflected upon what it is that we have within us. Even if it's stuff that we don't like about ourselves, we all have something. But once we're able to really accept who we are and accept what it is that we really want to do in our lives, you know, make the changes that are necessary. Make the changes that you want to make. But you have to make the changes for changes to happen. Does that make sense? Marry yourself is the feeling that I'm getting here. Believe in yourself. Trust in yourself. Follow your own passion. And I feel like getting maybe one more of these. Follow your passions, Feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Treat affairs with your family. So what I'm seeing here with the feather. This could also be, you know, I, I was literally just saying I don't feel like this is something in revolves to someone else necessarily. But this could be someone who you feel has disappointed you. Perhaps um, there is a message here for someone who it's about, you know, again, following good advice from wise people. Moving away from, from the pain, like the Ten of Swords. To know who it is in your life who's undependable and insincere and to move away from that. Remember how I mentioned burning bridges? We have to burn the bridges with people like this in our life. And that does not necessarily mean that you can't ever talk to them ever again. That does not mean to be a bitch all of a sudden. That does not mean, you know, any of that. It just means we have to literally sometimes distance ourselves from toxic, negative, undependable, lying, manipulative, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera type of people. That is also a reflection and a, a, a truth that you have to bring within yourself. You need to reflect upon the relationships and the circumstances in your life in order for you to view them from an honest perspective. Try to view multiple perspectives, multiple sides to things. But in the end, you need to follow your heart. You need to go with your heart. And people who make you feel like you're not good enough, people who make you feel uh, judged, being brought down, 
people who really rain on your parade, who, who shake your foundation. People who really rattle your foundation all the fucking time is what I'm getting. Like the bridge is gonna break on its own. If there's so much uh, of an earthquake around a bridge, it keeps rattling, keeps keeps moving, moving, moving. The bridge is gonna break. Let me get cards from here. And then I think I'm going to call this reading for today. Oh, cards fell. Little luxuries generates luxurious experiences and surroundings, creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event. Interesting because I think the last time I used these cards, they they did come out. So um, what I'll do is I'll add it to the reading and then I'll put them back and I'll shuffle for other ones. But what I'm feeling here is we really do make the situations in our life what they are. So for example, like I mentioned earlier, good and bad are mostly subjective. The way that we perceive experiences in our life is up to us how we decide to perceive it, consciously or subconsciously. This is to me saying that there is, um, there is a message here of being aware and reflecting. Again, there's a lot of reflection energy that I'm feeling here. Be aware of the energy that you give off. Be aware of the energy that is around you. It's very important because if you're always around people who give bad advice, if you're always around people who are undependable and insecure, that is really going to take from your energy. And that does not necessarily mean that they're going to be healed and that's going to help them because our own healing is our own responsibility and does not mean that we shouldn't be there for people. Yes, we should. But it comes to a point where it's like, okay, I've done all that I can. It's your turn. So what I'm seeing here again is to be very aware of your energy that you give off and to be very aware of the energy of the people around you and to, to really strive to surround yourself with people who align with your truth and people who align with with what it is that you really desire and they came out again they came out again I'm just going to perseverance the motivation to keep going despite the odds and that's what I was talking about um, is that you have to, despite, you know, if people believe in you or not, and despite whether people are encouraging you or if they're telling you that you shouldn't pursue that career because there's no money in it or whatever bullshit, you know what I mean? Well, it's not bullshit. That is something important to consider. But just know that just because a certain career may not be the most uh, secure or how can I say, the most financially abundant, does not mean that it's not something that you should pursue. You should pursue the things in your life that are the most abundant inside, internally. It is important to, to be stable and to find stability, um, you know. But when you really, really want to do something, when there's a will, there's a way. I mean, there are people who have multiple jobs, who have families, who are still uh, doing everything in their, in their free time to do what it is that they want and what it is that they desire and to share their, their um, truth and to share their creativity with other people. 
we have to be consciously aware of our perceptions. And this card always makes me think of perception because we have an eye and perseverance. They start the same. Perseverance, perception. With an eye here is also making me think back to the psychic abilities card where you need to follow your intuition. You need to know that, again, like I mentioned earlier, even though things take time, it does not mean that it is not worth fighting for. It does not mean that it is not worth pursuing just because it takes time. It takes time because that, that momentum of energy is building up. And remember, earlier we had the card of energy is gaining momentum. Be aware of your perceptions of people, places, things around you. On target, follow your ideal life path. And manifesting money and income. So let's talk about this card. Follow your ideal life path. That's something that only you know what it is. That is something that no one in this world, no matter how well they know you, no one knows you as good as you know you. Even the people that we are absolutely the closest to. You know what I mean? I mean, unless you're in denial about a lot of things. But the truth is that it is important for you to be honest, to reflect upon that, because when you're honest and you reflect upon that, again, it will help you know and realize what it is that you truly desire and how to get there. When you start to follow your ideal life path, you are on target to your purpose, to your mission. And that is whatever you feel in your heart. And only you know what that truly is. But it is important to, to remember that there will be changes that need to happen. With the 555, five, five, 5 is a number of change. Manifesting money and income. And again, I, I did mention earlier, I feel like this reading is more towards um, like career. And seeing again, like if, if money is a concern to you, when there is a will, there is a way. If you have to have a part-time job um, in order to, to have financial security while you are simultaneously, you know, on the side um, working on your dreams, your aspirations, and what it is that you want to manifest in your life. That's one way of doing it, and that is how the mass majority of people start pursuing their passions, is that they'll have a job, a side job or whatever, and they'll focus their time and energy on the things that they really want. So while things are taking time, while things are gaining momentum, while people are coming to know about them, they are, are finding stability in a way where it's like, I know that I'm stable, I know that I have the stability to back me up, but I also am taking the time necessary to pursue and follow and trust my inner guidance and my passions. And the more that you believe in yourself and the further that you continue on on your path, without letting anyone or anything come in the way of your truth and your purpose and your passion. <coughs> Sorry. Um, the more that you pursue that, the closer that you will be to being able to make your dream a reality where you can gain financial stability from. But those are things that take time. And we have to be persistent, right? Like we had the 
the perseverance. We have to be persistent on our path. We have to be persistent with practicing or whatever the case is in order to to eventually get to the point where we can make uh, money off of our creative pursuits. The elements. The elements of fire, air, earth, and water combine to create powerful protective boundaries, spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional. So what I'm seeing here is to work with the elements, and I did think about that because we have the pentacle here. I was thinking about balance in elements. So it's interesting to have this card pop up. Um, it's important to protect ourselves, again, from, that, from energies, whether it's our own energy or someone else's energy that is really trying to oppress us and hold us down and keep us from pursuing um, our life's path. And it is important to, to have balance within ourselves. When I think of the pentacle, I think of self, because we are made up of earth, air, water, fire. We are the elements, we are spirit, and we are protected. Our guides are with us. So what I'm seeing here is to, to uh, go within and really, really try to be mindful of our spiritual, mental, physical, and emotional health. I think that is something that is very important to, to bear in mind. Now I will pick maybe a couple from here. Only one card was left when I picked up the deck and it's absence. What is not there is key. is not there is key. Alright. Okay. Look, there's another call to strength. Strength. More effort will get you what you want. When we take the steps necessary, I keep mentioning this, when we take the steps necessary, we are closer to our dreams and aspirations. Grounding. Now this is interesting because under this elements card is Earth. I, I did briefly see it when I picked up this card to bring it closer. I did not mention it. But this card is about as the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength. I didn't even realize that. Strength in times of chaos. Look, we have water. We have another element here which is about healing, purification, and refinement. And uh, earth and water energy are both feminine energy. Maybe you are feminine that does not have to resonate or anything um, or perhaps you want to get closer or more involved with your feminine energy which we all have masculine and feminine within us but I digress um, grounding the beginning is where you need to be we need to ground ourselves in our in our dreams and aspirations Grounding ourselves is to have that practical plan. At the beginning is where we need to make those plans so that we know which direction to take. Adaptation. Change will be better than you think. This is bringing back all of those messages about change, about the 555, about change. How I mentioned earlier, the things that we need to change in life are, are those feelings of the Ten of Swords. 
or of the Eight of Swords, which is um, being in our own mental prison. Silence. Listen more and be and quiet be. Reflection. It's just the same message over and over now. Reflection. Self acceptance. You are so much more. And that's why I'm saying what I was saying earlier is you need to know that you have it within you. That you have the abilities that you that are necessary for you to pursue what it is that you desire. You need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in your dreams. And it's up to you to pursue them or not. That's the message that I'm getting here. Remember to reflect I'm sorry it's a disaster right now but I feel like some of the biggest messages here is to be honest with yourself and to reflect upon situations circumstances and things in your life to be honest with yourself Move away from pain. Move away from people, places, things who tell you that you are not capable or that you're not good enough or that, you know, you'll never get there. You'll never be as big as whatever, whoever. Like, watch me. Prove it. Let me prove it. By giving it my all. By jumping into it. By starting so what I'm seeing here is if you have been wanting to start a project, now is the perfect time to, to start making the plans and to start, start um, taking the steps necessary to make that project come to life. Now, if you're in the middle of a project, what I'm seeing here is to con continue to be persistent in your, in your truth and in your endeavors to continue to have the strength to to um, allow the energy to keep gaining momentum like a snowball effect if you are already on your journey to whatever you know career or whatever creative passion it is that you desire know that the energy is gaining momentum for you Hold gratitude and know that you are strong enough. Regardless if you are barely going to start on an endeavor or not, or if you've already been in it, know that you are strong enough and that you are capable and you need to be honest with yourself. Please be, please have confidence. <laughs> I believe in you and I know that whatever it is that you seek to do in your life, know that I believe in you and I want you to be happy and you should want yourself to be happy too. And great things come to those who wait, they say. I know that is something that is hard for us all to hear. <laughs> But really, it's true. A tree does not, I was going to say, it's not built in one day. <laughs> A tree does not grow in one day. At first, it is a seed, an acorn, a, a pine cone, or whatever. It is a seed that is planted that takes time for it to sprout. So then it's a sprouting. And then you have the sprig or whatever, right? You have the twigs, and then you have, eventually, you have a tree. And it takes years and years and years and years for a tree to get this big. So yes, patience is key. And know that you have the strength to, to play it out. Know that you have the strength as long as you stay persistent and holding your vision 
hold your vision, you will get there. It will happen. And you need to believe in yourself. First and foremost, above all else. Thank you so much for being here, Soul Family. I really deeply, truly appreciate you guys. And I hope that this message has helped you. I hope it has brought some clarity, some peace. Um, I really do believe in you. And yes, we may not know each other, but I really honestly, truly do. Because each and every one of us has it within ourselves to pursue our dreams, to become the magician of our own life. And if that resonates with you, maybe you might want to consider watching my previous reading that was about the magician. You are the magician. Anyway. Best wishes, blessings upon you, wish you the best, contact me if you feel like it, if not, that's okay, thank you so much, have a great day, bye.